Today I'm going to show you this device that I've been talking about in my home tours. So basically with this $20 device, you are able to control like your fan, your TV, your aircon, so all this for just $20. And if you see my home tours, you know, I actually turn on everything from my phone. Right now the aircon is turned off and I want to show you how I turn it on from my phone. It's because of this device and this is called the Xiaomi Universal IR Remote and it's just $20. So today we will go through a few things like you know how you can use it. Uh, I'm gonna do a simple connection to show you and also a little bit of automation and maybe recommend a few devices that you can use with this. So why don't we get started. So the first thing that I will do for you guys is I'm gonna remove this from the Mi Home app so that we can go through the setup again. So right now it's uh, from my baby's room so I'm gonna remove this and then we will set it all over again. So on your Mi Home app, go to plus, this corner right here and then you can search for universal. I've already reset it so I'm gonna just check uh, operation confirm, next and then you gotta select a Wi-Fi network that is not 5G. So now it's asking me to connect to this uh, their own Wi-Fi. Now go back to the app and it's gonna connect now. Okay, now oh, it's already connected. Okay, so I'm gonna select a uh, baby as the location and the device name. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and then I'm gonna click OK. Now that I'm done with the setup, I'm gonna show you how to connect to your home device. Go into the remote. I have a few methods. First method, hit on the plus icon to add a device. I'm gonna start with TV. So select a type and a brand. It takes a while. Now make sure that this IR is facing your TV before you tap on this button. If there is no reaction, tap on the left button to continue. If it works, tap on the right button to continue testing. Once you're done, all the buttons will show up. To see more buttons, tap here. If you like to edit the remote, tap the three dots. You have the option to rename, to edit the location, to edit the buttons, and to remove the remote. However, if you can't find your remote from the list, you have two other options. So I'm going to go back to where we... So if this doesn't work, tap on the three dots. You have two options. First is to copy remote or to search the user database. So let's try the search first. Look for a model closest to yours and test the buttons. If it works, tap here to save and it will show up in your list. Now for the last method, I highly recommend it for your air conditioner as the remote signals are more sensitive. I'm going to copy the signals directly from the AC remote. Tap this button here. Select custom. Now add and rename the button to, I'm going to do off. So when I'm in at the device, it should go into off. Here's a tip, create four modes that you need instead of copying the entire remote. So you can do off, strong power, eco saving, normal. And once you're done, tap the top right text to save. And the remote will appear on the main list. And again, you can rename it with the triple dots here. You can name it like AC. 
Wait, we are not done. We can do more than that. Let's group this button into automation. So go to the main screen here. So under automation, we will switch on everything with just one tap. So go on to plus. Complete manually. Select your remote and remote mode. Choose the device that you wish to turn on. Add a two seconds delay. Uh, that's for best results because we don't want the signals to crash. And continue to add more remotes. So for example, you want everything to be turned on when you're back home. You can have like the fan and the aircon. I mean, if you have smart lights, you can also do that. Maybe the TV as well. So, once you are done, save and rename it to Power On. So, it should appear on the bottom of the list. Go on to Profile and Widget. Under Mi Home Scene, tap plus, tap on power on and save, exit the app, go into your widgets, it should appear in your widgets list. So if you don't have this screen right here, go into edit and then you can add, you can add it if you scroll down to the bottom of the list and then when you're done, it should appear here. Before we go ahead and test the buttons, I just want to say that you know you got to put this out in the open so it has like a direct angle to the device that you wish to connect so this thing cannot be in your drawer and uh, it also the signals can't penetrate walls. Just imagine like using your remotes you know you're not going to be able to use your remote in another room when your TV is in the living room. So right now I'm going to show you uh, on your phone under the widgets list, I'm just going to tap on one button to turn on the aircon and the fan. And now I'm going to turn it off. So this device really helps you to uh, be more efficient. So instead of doing two actions using one remote for the aircon, one remote for the fan, now you just got to use like one button and both will be turned on and uh, you do not have to be in this room to use uh, to do this so you can be in orchard road you can still turn things on and off and for your phone you do not have to be on the same wi-fi network so only this device is on your wi-fi network and uh, for your phone once you've done the initial connection you can just use your normal 3g network and you'll be able to power things up through your phone and this guy will be in charge of sending the signals to your device and yeah basically that's how it works besides that i also have another function for youtube because uh, when i get back home with my baby and i need that five to ten minutes to unpack that's when i turn on youtube so on my phone here i have a yt button so before i press it i'm gonna show you the tv first so I'm going to press on YT, that stands for YouTube. And the next thing is it will send an on signal to the TV and it will power up. So for my TV, there's a lot of things going on when it's starting up. For example, there's this smart home that will come up and then next the channel list. So I do not want to confuse all these things uh, with my signals that I'm going to send through. So I wait for it to clear up and that's where we will send the smart home in. And then click on OK. So that's where we go into YouTube. So uh, really convenient. I do not have to be here physically to do all of this and wait. I could be in the kitchen unpacking and Emma could just wait here and you know, get her show up. She gets about 15 minutes with YouTube. So uh, for you, you do not have to do the same as me. I mean, it depends on what your lifestyle is and you can configure the IR device to suit your lifestyle needs. So really convenient really cool. I hope you like this device. 
So there are other products that you can get from Xiaomi that will work very well with this product. The motion detector, so whenever you walk past it, you can tell the app, like you know, the next action will be to turn things on or off. And there is a gateway that you can get as well. It will uh, work with the door and the window sensor. So if you have really young children, that will work great for you. And for me, I really want to change my lights to smart lights. But at the same time, I really like my lights. I do not want to change that. So I'm going to change the wall switches and it will make normal lights a smart light. So if I get that product, I'll do a review. Uh, let me know if you want to see it. So probably I feel more encouraged to upload again. And meanwhile, let me know if you like this product, if you like, if you do not like it. And if you have a question about it, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'll be very happy to answer you. And meanwhile, all the products that I just mentioned will be in the description. So be sure to check it out. And lastly, I just want to say thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next video. Bye.